Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here. I sent in eight gold coins to PCGS to be graded and authenticated over three months ago. Well, I just got them back and we're gonna check out the grades together. I have not looked at the grades online yet, so it's going to be a live reveal do you know what kind of self-control that takes? I don't think you do. But in any case, I'm going to be opening this up, sharing it with you guys, and seeing did I break even, lose money, or make money on the cost of the coins plus the grading fees based on what grades they got. And if you missed the first video, you can check it out in the card over here and see what the coins looked like raw before they were graded and put in your guesses of what you think the grades are and match them up to what we actually got. Anyway, as I always say, enough of the jibber jabber. Let's crack this open and see what grades we got. All right, so we have the box here. It says PCGS celebrating 35 years. I think 35 years is the amount of time it takes from when you send in the coins to when you get them back graded. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, we're gonna open this up, and I am just so unbelievably excited. Oh, let's see. Let's see. All right, here we go. And we've got eight beautiful coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna go one by one and take a look. Let's start with this guy at the front. I'm gonna cover up the grade so that we don't see it right away. All right, we've got the first coin. It's an 1851 $1 gold piece. And as you can see, I put a little piece of cardboard over the grade so it wouldn't ruin the surprise for me or for you. We'll look at it together and we'll see it in real time and that's gonna be exciting. But this looks like a really nice coin and I'm hoping for a mint state grade on this coin. And honestly, I'm hoping for a mint state grade on all the coins. But honestly, even more than that, I'm hoping for a grade on this coin and all the other coins because if you caught my last video, you can check it out in the card over here if you missed it. But I did not do great. I ended up submitting 11 coins and I think five or six of them came back either as scratched, cleaned, or harshly cleaned, meaning no grade. And I did learn from that. Just like with every hobby, you should always keep learning. And I tried my best to improve and I am hoping that I did. Now, it's definitely possible that some of these will still come back as you know cleaned or ungradable, but I'm hoping that I have a much better hit rate. So as you can see here on the reverse, there is a little bit of wear, or maybe it's a poor strike. I'm not 100% sure, but it's not perfect, but I'm still hoping for a mint state grade or maybe like, you know, at worst like AU58, but again, just hoping for a grade. So get your last guesses in. You can put it in the comments below if you want to, just no cheating. All right, the grade on this coin is... All right, AU53, okay. It's not what I was hoping for. Obviously I was hoping for you know a mint state grade, but a grade is a grade. And as you can see here, because we're following along, we're going to see whether or not each coin made me money, lost money, or broke even based on the cost of the raw coin, the cost of the grading costs, and what the new value is with the grade. So I made a modest profit, can't complain about that. All right, next up is an 1851 $1 gold piece, and it is the same exact coin as the previous one, but minted in New Orleans. Now, one of these is going to go into my graded typeset. I'm doing a graded US gold typeset, and I need one of these for it, and I'm gonna keep the one with the higher grade. The one with the lower grade, I'm actually going to sell at my next WhatNot auction. So this is a good enough point to uh, promote my next WhatNot auction. If you don't know what WhatNot is, WhatNot is an incredible live video auction app in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly into coins and precious metals, etc. They've got every type of collectible you could possibly want. They've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, even sneakers. You want it, they got it. And if you use my link, which is whatnot.com slash invite slash silverpicker to download the app, not only do you get access to the platform for free, of course, but you also get $15 in Whatnot credit to use on anything you want. I consistently sell all sorts of silver coins for $15 or less. So if you come to one of my auctions, you're basically guaranteed to get a free silver coin if you use my link and get the credit. Whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker. Download the app and get your free 15 bucks worth of silver coins or whatever you want. All right, back to this coin. We've got the 1851-0. I actually think this is going to grade out higher, so I'm guessing that this is the one that I'm going to keep, but it is also possible that it's gonna come back cleaned. Anyway, here we go. One, two, better not sue. All right, XF40. This is the lowest graded coin that I've actually uh, received back in any of my three submissions to PCGS, but it's the lowest grade. I've gotten plenty of cleaned coins, scratched coins, etc. So 
I'm still happy two for two that we've got a grade. And you can check out the stats over here and see whether or not we made money or lost money. I'm not 100% sure as I shoot this, so I will be adding it in and editing. So technically, you guys will know the grade before I do. All right. Next up, I believe we've got one more dollar coin, but it is a different one. This one is in 1874, and you can see it is the uh, Indian headdress style $1 gold piece. And this one I think is beautiful. I absolutely love this. I think that this one might have gotten a mint state grade. I'm gonna be so bold as to say, I think this got an MS-62. So what do you guys think? Get your grades in, put it in the comments, let me know, and let's see. Did you get it right? Did I get it right? All right, AU58, it is not bad at all. That is nothing to complain about. That is definitely a money maker. Made some money on that one, and it's definitely gonna go into my US typeset, so I am happy about that. If, of course, I ever end up getting another one and it ends up grading higher into the mint state, of course, I will swap them out and then I'll end up selling this one. But for now, I am definitely, definitely happy with this. All right, and we are moving out of the $1 coin range. We now have our first $2.50 Indian. Now, I sent this in because I thought it looked really, really nice. I thought it has the potential for a really good grade. I already have one of these in my US typeset and I've graded a whole bunch of them. I've done pretty well on some. I think the highest one I got was like an MS-63. But even if this gets just anything in the mint state, I will be definitely happy with it. I mean, look at this, amazing detail, amazing luster. It's just a, a fabulous coin. So. I'm gonna guess MS-63. It's a bold statement, I know, but let's take a look. Get your guesses in. Holy sh**! MS-65, oh my god, MS-65. This is like, I think this is a few thousand dollars. Holy cow, MS-65, wow. This paid for the entire set for sure. Okay, I, I need to check this out, give me a second. Wow, three thousand dollars this is a three thousand dollar coin i paid four hundred dollars for this raw four hundred bucks into three thousand yes ladies and gentlemen dreams can come true holy moly all right that is that is i think that might be the most profitable grading i've ever done that is absolutely fantastic and uh so far we are four for four in getting grades so i have definitely learned something i've definitely applied my knowledge and i am very proud of that Holy cow. Next up, we've got a $5 Indian, and I do not yet have one of these in my, ty in my type set, so I am excited about this. Um, I think that this one is probably going to go more like in the AU58 category. It just has like a little bit too little luster on it to, to hit mint state, I think. Uh, again, as you can see, I've been off on every single one of the grades. Uh, thankfully, the last one in my favor, but um, I just don't think this one's going to hit mint state, but I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong. Uh, what do you guys think? But I definitely think this will get a grade. Let's see, bada bing, bada boom. All right, AU55, okay. I've gotten a lot of non-mint state grades in this set, but you know, it's still better than getting non-gradable coins by far. I mean, this I'm pretty sure will also be a profit. I'm pretty sure that everything so far has been a profit. Again, uh, I have to do the math off screen, but. I'm 100% sure the last one was profitable by a lot. Uh, and certainly because of that, overall, the entire submission is profitable. But I think we did pretty well on this one. I am not upset about that. It's going straight into my typeset, AU55, not too shabby. This one is actually one of the ones that I'm most excited for because I absolutely love this design. The $10 uh, Indian is an incredible piece of art. It's not just a coin, it's an incredible piece of art. And this one's from 1908. And as you can see, it has gorgeous detail, gorgeous luster. I am going to say that this one's going to get an MS-61. Uh, I think that it's not quite high enough to get like, look, I'm not expecting MS-65 and basically I would never guess MS-65 for anything that I submit just because it's just ridiculous. I mean, come on. but. This is absolutely spectacular. Get your grades in, put it in the comments, and here we go. Okay, also AU55. I guess this is uh, the about uncirculated uh, submission set, uh, or whoever was grading them that day uh, decided they're all about, uh, about uncirculated. They're all about about uncirculated. Okay, that's like a tongue twister. But in any case, I am very pleased with this. 
Uh, it does have a grade. It can go comfortably into my typeset. I decided that unless I absolutely have to, I want to make sure that all the coins in my typeset have a grade. Uh, I don't want any cleaned or scratched coins. They're great coins to have as fillers, but I don't want to have that as my main sort of, uh, you know, it's one of my, my few sets. I'm not actually such a, a varied collector like many people assume. I have just very few little collections that I really, really care about, one of which is my US type set, one of which is my US gold set, which is what we're working on now, my British Mandate of Palestine set, and then I have a few other ones that I'm working on, but those are like my main three. So I am very pleased with this. Uh, this is an 1893. $10 gold Liberty. So now we'll have both the Indian and Liberty covered in my typeset for the $10 pieces, which I'm super stoked about. Um, and I think this one, I'll be honest, because of this, you see like right here, there's sort of this like scratched or like buffed out area. I'm hoping that that's just sort of loss of luster and not like some, you know, non-gold substance coming through. I mean, I've, I really checked all these coins when I bought them. I weighed them. I checked the diameter with calipers. I checked the height with calipers. And they fit the exact dimensions of gold. And I really, really don't think that they're counterfeit. But this one is the one I was most worried about. I don't think that they put not genuine coins in holders. So I'm almost 100% sure that this is indeed genuine. Um, and that, that's just like, you know, some of the, the mint luster coming off. And because the rest of the coin is just so spectacular that you just see the contrast. But I'm hoping for a mint state coin here. I'm going to say straight up MS60, but it's probably more like an AU55. All right, here we go. All right, MS61. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, that is awesome. That is really awesome. That's a profitable coin right there. Um, as you can see, I'm still not perfect, but so far, seven out of eight coins that I submitted got grades, which is by far beating any record that I've had on my previous submissions that you've seen on my channel. I mean, at least I've gotten a couple of, of ungradable coins. This time, I only am getting one potential ungradable coin. Uh, I haven't even, obviously, I haven't looked at it yet, so we don't know but I might go eight for eight. I might go eight for eight. I want you guys to root for me. I, if you guys are watching this and not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because come on, this is too wild. This is too amazing to pass up. All right, another mint state coin for my typeset. And the last one, the last but not least, I am super, super excited to present this coin. It's one of the nicest coins in my entire collection. This is a 1908 $20 St. Gaudens Gold Double Eagle. This is like one of the, the most important coins for any gold collector to have, have an example of. Uh, obviously there's some, uh, some interesting numismatic lore about the 1933 Double Eagles, but that of course is for another time. This one is beautiful. And I would say that historically the $20 pieces were less circulated, so it's more likely to get a higher grade. So I actually think that this one is going to get a mint state grade. It's beautiful. I mean, look at it. Both the, the obverse and the reverse are absolutely spectacular. Uh, I don't see any anything wrong with this coin. You know, obviously I know it's not gonna get an MS70. I don't even think it's gonna get uh, MS65 like that amazing $2.50 piece did. But I'm going to guess that it's going to be anywhere from an MS61 to an MS64. And I am hoping, let's say, you know what? Let's go for the gold. We're going to say this is an MS63. That is what I'm hoping for. So last but not least, Double Eagle from 1908. Holy cow, MS63, MS63. Do you see that? Do you see that? First of all, the thing I'm most excited about is we are eight for eight. I didn't get a single clean coin. I didn't get a single scratched coin, no harshly cleaned. This is such vindication from compared to my last video. Wow, MS63, I am so, so excited about this. Let's take a look at all of them in all of their glory. Eight gold coins each one with a beautiful grade. We've got three coins in the mint state range. We got four coins in the AU range and one coin with an XF grade. That is not bad. And you can see I made a nice tidy profit on this one. I mean, holy cow, this mint state 65, 
What a beautiful, beautiful piece. I cannot believe that I pulled an MS-65 and that I bought raw. MS-63 is nothing to sneeze at either. So I am super, super stoked. I am going to be sending in another batch of gold coins, so you definitely want to stick around for that. If you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit the subscribe button, throw me a like, get this video out there. This video represents hope to all numismatists that you can learn something and you can improve and you can make your numismatic dreams come true. Anyway, I am going to do an update video later on with all of my gold coins that uh, are going into my US typeset. That'll be a separate video. But for now, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. I am so, so stoked and I cannot wait to see you the next time. Anyway, I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon. The links are below and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.